All right, gamers, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, we missed last week, but that's okay, man, because we were really waiting for some stuff that was dropped this past week, so we're going to get into that. But before we do that, of course, we got an email from the boy Mark here. He asked us today, uh, what are some movie, games, mangas, etc., that you would like to see a what if or a side story to? You know what I was thinking, Julian? Yeah. Dude, Devil May Cry, but you switch the roles with Dante and Virgil. Ooh. If. That's that's pretty good, yeah. There's a lot, man. Like Who would be edgier know. though, you know? Like I think Dante would be edgier as he's tries to, as he's like what more serious role. I feel like him. I don't know. You know, oh uh, well that already happened already. I was gonna say, what if Sly Cooper crossed over with, say, Ratchet and Clank or uh, Jack and Daxter, but that happened already, did it? Yeah, right? Yeah, what if Do you remember that? It? Yeah, it was um PlayStation Heroes. Was that was any good? I don't know. It was a PlayStation Move game, right? Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, yeah back on the PS3. I would want... I think I would want a Hey Arnold, but like, and later on. Like when they're adults. If we're talking what ifs... Dude, what if we got PlayStation All-Stars 2? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Oh, PlayStation All Stars on Evo. We should have. We should have seen that coming. Please, man. Yo, Stadia All Stars, bro. Uh, would would that <laughs> would that question be in the like in the realm of like crossovers as well? Yeah, that's a. That's a those are always what ifs. Yeah. Right. Okay. What if we qua- we crossovered? All right, hear me out, guys. I thought about this before. What if we cross over Berserk? And Legacy of Kane. Man, you're bringing out all the good ones, Julian. Um, Legacy of Kane. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a throwback. Yeah, that's a hell throw. I love Soul Reaver, dude. Soul Reaver is amazing. Um, because I think in Soul Reaver there's a uh, time travel or something like that, right? I uh, I totally forgot, but I remembered having a good time with those games. My thought before I even drew this out, I drew Razael, uh, holding the the, the Dragon Slayer. And I wanted to oh, do yeah, another yeah. art piece of Guts having uh, Raziel's like um, sword powers, or you know, his, so those powers that he has. I said it once. I'll say it again. I'll say it a bunch of times. Yeah, Jay. Um, the world needs another Austin Powers movie, dude. Yes. I, know, I know we're never gonna get it because it's never gonna be the same. I know, Mike Myers. Where are you? A Doctor Evil movie. We we could we could never get a new Mike Myers movie at this point. Never, dude. <laughs> yeah, unless it's another Shrek movie. They will hunt. I think they will hunt them down. And be like, look, guy, you please do this again, please. <laughs> just the three characters: just Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy, and uh, Mike Myers. Just, just those three. But that's one. That's one crossover I thought of. You know, I always bring it up, Julian. DOA and Tekken crossover. Yeah, man. Where the hell is that? Or at least throw like a character from DOA into Tekken. Or mm-hmm. no, throw a character from Tekken into DOA. It could that work too. both ways. Oh yeah. Ah oh, man, I would like a crossover if The Witcher and Cyberpunk. I'm pretty sure they'll do it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna like throw something in. Oh yeah, there's yeah. an Easter egg. You know, Siri's gonna show up in Cyberpunk, so that way people can stop asking. You know, it's gonna happen. That oh, would be another <laughs> Witcher and <in> Doom. <laughs> the Witcher and Doom. I mean, how good? How good is Geralt? At killing uh, monsters. How good is he? Like, is he, like, top of the top? He he needs to prepare, basically. Because he needs to take, like, potions and, um... He needs to meditate. Sorry, I'm getting my laptop charger because my battery's low. Um, someone made a theory. Or, they asked a question. They're just like, Who could be Doom Marine in a fight? No one can because he's so powerful. And I said Geralt. And they were like, oh, uh, oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, he texted me. Yeah, yeah, his laptop died. R.I.P. Grant. Uh, this is live right now, guys. We're calling it uh, 6.43 p.m. In the- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, until Grant comes back. You you want to you wanna cross over Metal Gear and, Sam- and, and Splinter Cell? I always Ooh. say that. Oh, yeah. That'd, That'd be, be really cool. cool. That'd be fucking sick. Hell yeah, dude. Because in Wildlands, I don't know if any uh, one of you guys played Wildlands. The Ghost Recon one. Oh yeah, we, I, yeah, I remember um, that. The Sam Fisher DLC where they mentioned uh, specifically the Snake, 
It's like oh, yes, the old warriors of the past and all, and and that that's a neat one. But I could I could see it become a thing, but we all know it's never gonna happen just because of Konami. Yeah. Hey. Oh yeah. I'll give it that. A lot of uh, a lot of unfortunate, a lot of good series are never gonna be probably good enough anymore because of Konami. Yeah, and it and and it's really sad because. You got a lot of potential for that at this age, because you know nostalgia is at an all-time high at this point. Oh yeah, and, and Konami has you know Castlevania, they got Silent Hill, every, every game you could think about that you probably played when you were like kid, and and they could at easily cash on it, and you're not gonna get it back just because Konami's like, oh no, we should we should. We should uh more more gacha games. Let's more make more gacha games. Yes. Oh, that's it. That that that's the oh, fucking no. future of Konami. Hey, I'm back. Grant, would you like would you like to continue what you were saying about uh Geralt? Um. Yes. Someone. What I was saying was, oh, um, if Doom Marine and Geralt would fight, who would win? Pro tip: It would be Doom Marine. But I said Geralt, and someone said it would be an evenly matched fight, but Doom Marine would still win. Like, Geralt would, have, like, take all of his potions, you know, to make him, like, stronger, and have, like, um, better perspective, better sight, you know, um, stamina. It increased everything, just to fight him on even terms for, like, a minute. But anyways, um, I do agree with what Salvador said. That's all Kon- Konami cares about. Yeah, because, I mean... The the last thing we actually have from Konami is a crossover. It's the Dead by Daylight, Silent Hill, whatever mm-hmm. thing that is. And it's and it, first of all, it doesn't even look like Heather. If you look at right now, it just looks like a generic person with a Heather costume. Yeah, I agree with that, man. I agree. And and even Pyramid Head and and people. Oh, White's the name the Executioner. First of all. Heather's uh demon is not even permanent head. That's James. That that that's the biggest uh disappointment of all that. I mean, you could have chose the the demons from from Silent Hill Heather instead of James, or at least for James. It's so dumb. And Dead by Daylight is like it's whatever. That's a that's whatever of a game. It's I guess it's fun with friends, but like I played it and I'm like the number one thing that like. I that um sorry. I didn't like is how you can't kill the as the killer you can't kill your uh prey right away. You have to hook them up to something and you have to wait for them to get abducted by aliens, I think. I'm like, what the fuck? It's weird, but that's one thing I don't like about that game. And then for for them to put Silent Hill, it didn't excite me, you know? It didn't like sure. Oh, cool. Yeah, Silent Hill's coming back. I guess in a snippet of a way, but I did not care about. I do not care about Dead by Daylight. I'd rather play Bloodborne at that point. What if there was DLC, Danny, for Bloodborne, and it was Van Helsing, bro? Oh, you know what I mean? Like, imagine you get the. I know it's basically right. the same shit, that right? Makes sense, too, dude. <laughs> no, no, it yeah, can make sense. Oh, it can there, make sense. Yes. It can make sense. <laughs> you just go to the. You're just in the Transylvania, Blood Souls, Born Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice universe. Um, you know, you always end up in the randomest places, especially like the Dark Souls games, right? Um, so you know, what if you're the hunter and you just end up in, uh, or it could be another dream. You don't know, just like in the DLC for Bloodborne. Um, you just end up in Transylvania, and you fucking you just battle through the area, and the bosses. You know, just just think about it. And then the new weapons would be those uh, those little saw things that uh Hugh Jackman has. Yeah. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Those little things that you pump, like you rep up. And then you can have his guns, maybe his costumes. Like, the bosses. Just imagine the bosses for that. You know what? Back to Kingdom Hearts, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop, dude. You know what? Well, it's because forever, that shit, it, it writes itself sometimes. It's like... Okay, but... Yeah, more, I want to say more Final Fantasy stuff in Kingdom Hearts. That's what I'm just going to say about that. I, I just thought of a good one. Just because Gears Tactical came out. Uh, Gears uh, Tactics? XCOM and, no, um, XCOM. 
with with Gears of War. Yeah, uh, I know Gears Tactics is just XCOM Gears of War, right? Yeah, I haven't played it yet, but um, it's gonna they they released it for a PC. It should be out coming out for consoles. Yeah, but even then, when I said that, I just remember Phoenix Point exists, so it doesn't really matter. Yo, give me a crossover. I want to say something would destroy humans and something else, but I don't know what the else. What else would? XCOM. <laughs> I would say that would be cool. XCOM and destroy humans. That'd be sweet. Yeah, actually, yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. I don't know why. I don't know why, guys, but the next thing that popped into my head was like tacking the power of Juju. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yes. Classic. Okay. Okay. When uh, when uh, they were doing that PS5 intro, I swear to God that like that was gonna be a game that was gonna come up. I thought that was that uh, tacking the power of Juju. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh, Forgot man. about that. Yo, hey, man. I, I remember what I played on PS2, all right, guys? That's all I got to no, say. People forgot that people forgot that ship on Nickelodeon came from a video game. Yeah. yeah. No, it was a video game first, uh, then yeah. video games. You know what's funny? I played dude. the I played the GBA version of Tekken and Power of Juju. It's just a side-scroller, but it was fucking hard. I remember that one. Yeah. Dude, Tekken and the Power of Juju... X blinks the time cat. Yo, that's a good one, Grant. That's a good one. I like that. I like that. <laughs> that that's actually a really, really classic move. <laughs> oh, the time sweeper, I mean. I'm like, uh, whoa. Yo, oh, you know what I was watching today, Danny? I was watching the 90s Judge Dredd. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. Sylvester Stallone one. And I thought to myself, and I'm like, you know what? I really hope they make a reference to Judge Dredd in um, Cyberpunk. And, oh, in Cyberpunk? Yo, yeah, Judge Dredd is all cyberpunk. Like, that whole aesthetic. Oof. I hope they make a mm-hmm. reference to it. Since we got Robocop and MK, let's just get Dredd in there, too. Right? For real, man. But, I, I mean, I'd be down to see Judge Dredd, though. Judge, Jury, and Executioner. And, of course, Julian, you already know what I'm going to say, man. Yep. Anything with our boy Turok. Seriously, anything. anything. Please. Turok and Far Cry Primal. Oh, Far Cry Primal I, is Turok. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> right. Primal was really bad. Uh, it's all I right. mean, I mean it's all whatever. right. Yeah. yeah. For, for being a Far Cry game, it's all right. But I wouldn't put it as a Far Cry game. Because Turok is better than fucking Primal. Yeah. Well, they're oh, basically course. the same thing, too. Did you ever play that other Far Cry game? The one that came out after 5? The New it's- Dawn? Yeah, Far Cry New Dawn. It's set like 40-something years after 5, after the nukes. Yeah, I'm I'm actually replaying Far Cry 5, because mm-hmm. we wanted to play the add-ons. Because, you know, the DLT, the one with the Heart of Darkness, the Life of Mars, and the zombie Yeah, one. those were all weird. No, but interesting, if, I, I, would, I would actually like uh, a game from the Heart of Darkness one, the Vietnam from Far Cry, like in Blood Dragon. Because, you know, Blood Dragon, even though it was a standalone game, not a DLC per se, I played it and actually won more. Like, it's really good. It oh, feels, yeah. It feels like a Vietnam game, like a platoon game, kind of-esque. The you know, Heart of Darkness actually has the the map. They they, they got the, the jungle, they got forest, they got they have the whole set and the mood really, really well. Even though the game lasts probably like an hour. And I and I could play it again, but I won't because I'm real lazy. <laughs> I mean, there there was gonna be a game for Apocalypse now, but who knows if that's gonna come out anymore. My first time today, you know what I watched this morning too? I watched Commando with a uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nice. Oh, that's a classic. First man. time ever watching it, and I enjoyed it. I'm like, it's that eighty cheesiness, man. You know, you know, I I loved it. I liked it. See, I, I was trying to think of um, a crossover with RTS games. Oh, I got, I got, I got one for you. Advanced Wars with Terminator. Ooh. Oh, that'd be cool. I played uh, not not too long ago the that Terminator game. You know which one? The the one that came out during a uh, Dark Fate last year. Yeah, that's not even right. linked to the game. It's just like some oh, weird ass yeah. one. It's like first person, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That I've heard of that one. I heard that one was like. Not absolute right. garbage, it's, it's you know. It's, yeah, uh, it's a really decent game. Even even the story's not really that bad. In RTS game like in Advance Wars, that'd be dope. Just just to get Advance Wars again, that'd be cool. <laughs> like like yeah, 
An RTS Terminator game? That'd be cool. You know they made an RTS um, Alien vs. Predator game? Did you know that's a thing? They did? What? Yeah. Oh, look it up. It's cool. called it's called Alien vs. Predator Extinction. Yeah, Extinction, I think. Or Extermination? Oh, yeah. Extinction, yeah. Yeah, that was a thing. I, I rented wow. it. I rented it, too. I thought it was pretty cool because I liked RTSs back then. My first RTS was a video game called Goblin Commander. Uh, look that up, too, because the name is awesome, and it is awesome. So, <laughs> But yeah, that was a thing. But uh, yeah, I'm never opposed to like RTSs with uh, some licenses on them. Yeah, guys. So I think with that, so we can move on onto the podcast. So thanks, Mark, for the email. That's unversepodcast at gmail.com. If you have any questions or comments talk about on the next episode so let's get into this man we might as well start off with the sony event that happened here uh where we finally get uh, some ps5 information got got a little worried watching the live stream right because we were nearing the hour excuse me nearing the hour mark and i was like where is the console at man you know are we really not gonna just have the console during the stream and sure enough man we got it you guys already know I don't like the the way the controller looks, and I'm just I'm not a big fan of this uh, of this design at it all. It looks like a Wi-Fi router. Yeah, a fucking five G um, Wi-Fi router. <laughs> Set okay, baby. All the memes are pretty good. The controller's fine for me as long as they have like black versions of this. That's cool. Which I hope they do. I really hope because honestly, this white aesthetic does not work. Does not entirely work for this design. And then, you know, we got the disc version, and then we got the digital version, right? How come the digital version looks better than the disc version? Because of that big fucking lump. I'm willing to bet it's the digital-only version was the initial design, and then they added the disc drive later, because that, that's just... That's all I can think of, because it looks so awkward with it being there. I mean, like, look at your ps 4 Whoever has a PS4 right now, just look at your PS4 and... You know what I mean? Like, what was wrong with, like... I, like, I have my Xbox and my PS4 right in front of me, and I just see, like, it's always been, like, a square, a rectangle yep. shape, and there's nothing wrong with that. I like the design of this, of my original PS4, and the PS yeah. Pros, it's the same kind of design, it's slanted. The golden rectangle. Yeah, that one, uh, it's a, the know. shape, there's a shape to it, you're right, Jerry, there is a shape to that. I, again, it does look like a Wi-Fi router, it does look like a fucking heater, it does look like Kaiba. It does look like Demodone. It looks like all those memes, right? You're right. We're not wrong. But, like, at the end of the day, I don't care how it looks as long as it plays my games. I'm going to wait. No, yeah, you know, I, I definitely agree with you, Julian, about it being uh, just have a solid black color for the console. But I don't know. I don't think they're going to do it because the fact that we got just this, it's going to be a while before we get any other additions for the console. And it makes me wonder, Danny, you know, throughout this PS4 life, uh, lifetime, gotten, like, custom PlayStations, right? Official custom PlayStations. Now, yeah. would let's say they would try to do that with this system. Would it even look nice? Honestly, I don't think so. It would Honestly, because really you, you know what it would just be? It would just be the white parts of the PS5 that would be changed, and then the middle would still be black. I don't think they're going to change in that aspect. Yeah, and there's, like, not much you can do with it. Like, you know what? I remember my buddy, he got the Metal Gear Solid 5 PS5, 4, PS4, and that worked. Like, the color schemes and everything, it worked so well. The Do you remember how they did the, um, the PS1, PS4? Do you remember that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I love that one. Yeah, that one. yeah, see, like, stuff like that. I don't think they're going to be able to do stuff... No, okay, see, now, with the Xbox Series X, if it's going to look like a fridge, right now, like right now, Grant, I have the Xbox, Xbox One, the terabyte one, no, yeah, the terabyte one, yeah, I got the terabyte one, the Halo 5 edition, okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. and it looks fine, they made it look like a Sergeant Lock, and it looks fine, you know, the way it, it, it looks like a VCR, but with these designs on them, right, because it, it's a box, it's a box shape rectangle box shape it's gonna work mm -hmm. for it's gonna work for the series x because i mean think about it it's just a cube it's just a rectangle cube so they can do, do a bunch, bunch of designs they could do a bunch of designs with it it could totally work they could do a minecraft one 
We could do a Ooh, fucking Minecraft. A good one. See what I mean? Like, there you go, already. So I think, out of the both systems, I think Xbox was looking a little better for me because it's simple. It's just a simple shape. It's nothing too crazy. Yeah. So my other problem with the console look is it doesn't. It doesn't look uh, sturdy. Yeah. Just just the way these the 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 white plastic extends out. I just feel like I feel like that's it's either going to be detachable very easily for like like you know how like the face plates are on the original PS4 or it's like it's just going to break off easily or something. That's that's Is this the fun. first one first console that's when you it has to be vertical when you turn it No, it it doesn't have to be vertical. No. Oh, okay. No, no, when they when they showed it off in the stream, it was just on a stand and and the like the link you posted here in the Discord grant, that's what it looks like sideways. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that's how they showed it off and and the stand that they used for ver- for the vertical part, it's underneath the PS5 when it's horizontal. Okay. Which is another weird part for me because that, that, that just doesn't look right. Like, why do I need an extra piece for it to lay flat? Look at a track record and it's like, where, what the fuck were y'all thinking, you know? <laughs> yeah, they, they've come out to say uh, why they designed it this way. And it's like, well, if this is going to be in your home, we want it to look aesthetically pleasing within a home or something. Like like make it like make it like a piece of furniture basically. But, but, but even then, the PS5 doesn't really look like a like a set piece for for any kind of. Yeah, place. like this this is for a specific type of house design, like the new modern houses. Like a have minimalist this kind, of feel. kind of bullshit. They said living room. Yeah, living room. See, I I do want to get one of the new generation consoles, the next one coming up. Like for me, I mean, I'm, I definitely want to get the Xbox Series X mainly for Halo. I do want to play Halo oh, Infinite me too, so badly. Man, me too. And the new Gears, if there's another one. Honestly, for me, I'm either waiting for like, oh, like a special edition console, you know, like what you were saying, Julian, like, oh, like a Halo themed one or this one. Yeah, they could totally or, do it. I also wanted to get the Xbox One X because it's powerful, but I don't have a 4K TV. I want to get that 4K TV first. And I'm waiting for Cyberpunk. It's like, I want to get Cyberpunk on the next-gen consoles. Yeah. Well, I mean, remember, Grant, you can always buy the Series X games for your Xbox One. They they do the, the smart delivery feature. Uh, you could play any version of any Xbox game on any Xbox. That's their way of backwards compatibility, huh? Dude, three more months and Cyberpunk comes out. Yeah. Going going back on that living room thing that Sony said, right? The first thing I thought of, I'm like, isn't this what gave the Xbox One a lot of a lot of shit when when they revealed it? You know, it's like, oh, this is the family console. You know, we're gonna focus on what families do. And I'm like, no, no, this is a gaming console for gamers. Come on, <laughs> gamers only. Like, you know, the PlayStation Five looks like one of those systems I would see in like the background of like some e girls fucking stream or something, you know? I thought about this ever since I saw the stream and the whole time I've been thinking about it, I just been leaning towards the I don't like it design um mm-hmm. argument of it. But I, I always try to stay neutral about things. Like I said earlier, I, as long as it plays my games, that's all that matters. You know, if we're talking aesthetic wise and stuff, yeah, no. I don't know if you guys saw the scale, the scaling for this. I don't, uh, I don't know if how accurate it is, but it's, it's got like a good, like three, four inches in height to the PS4. It's like the tallest console out of the, the last few generations. Damn. Oh wow! Remember yeah. when the the original Xbox used to be like, God, that that was it used to be the most biggest console. Like everything about it was huge. The controller was huge. Even like the, the controller ports, Grant. Do you remember like where you connected to the console? Even those were huge. Yeah, the Duke. Yeah, the Duke. I want the Duke, dude, again, so bad. The Xbox One version of the Duke, I want it. I mean, it's cool. It's cool we're finally getting the 4K Blu-ray drive uh, for this one. So, yeah, that's PS5, I think. Uh, I'm still going to get it, of course, but just just point it in the console design. Me too. Yeah. The games you know, coming out are pretty fresh. And, oh, and freaking only one USB port in the oh, front. Oh, yeah. That's like, what's a, up with uh, that? Everything is wireless now, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know but that's well, like you know what and that's a that's extra accessories that i gotta pay for you know i don't know i don't know because i don't know there's there's two slots i don't know what that second one is on the left like the smaller one it looks like a USB-C port i don't think they they didn't really go into detail about that so we'll just have to wait yeah let's wait till that price they haven't said that price yet 
I think you no, know what? I think no. they're waiting for Xbox to say something, and no. then they're gonna be like, you know, what? okay, yeah, we got this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be around 500 or 600. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the Play Asia I had it up for pre-order for 700, um, but of course that's not the official price, uh, and it's a placeholder price. Yeah, and, and then they since took it down the pricing, uh, but when I checked the controller is eighty dollars, which is eighty dollars to be expected. But you know what? I would rather spend eighty dollars on a PS5 controller than those stupid Joy Cons for the Switch. Uh, as far as I know, even the Joy Cons have a lot of issues, don't they? Uh, the the original the the first launch models, yeah. I've heard the the new ones that have come out for the new Switches are a little better, but yeah, there's still problems. Let's go ahead and get into these games that they showed off for the PS5. A lot of games. They started it off with, I can't believe this game is coming across three generations of consoles. GTA 5 3, baby! GTA 5 is starting to become the new Skyrim. Yeah, that's right. They started off with that. Um, fuck, dude. Yeah, that, when I saw that, I honestly thought it was going to be something new from Rockstar. Say, Bully 2 oh, or man. GTA 6, oh, they, oh. you know? No, yeah. dude, we're they're, not, we're they're... not going to get a GTA 6 in a really long while. Yeah, because Red Dead Redemption 2 is the most recent one that came out. Well, no, I mean, GTA 5 is still very popular. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, and it's... now it's going to get a resurgence because it's going to be on PS5. They said the online is going to be free for all PS5 users. And they're giving the GTA 5 uh, players a million free dollars every month until it drops next year. If you have if you had Twitch Prime, they're giving away a million dollars. And recently, Epic Games gave out GTA V, the premium edition. That's another million dollars. They're going all in. It's it still has the support. I mean, I always see something from it, like every other month. New you know what I mean? Like that, like yeah. multi like multiplayer expansions and stuff. They should totally make story expansions, but it's way too yeah. late. It's way too late for to ask for that. You know, they're they're never gonna do that yeah. for us. And it's weird because they actually do make some GTA Online story uh, expansions. There have been mm-hmm. like two, three of them that have been good. Otherwise, all of them are cosmetics. Yeah. It's, just, it's just crazy to see us. This is a seven-year-old game already. Right. You know, it came out on, during the PS3 years. era. Well, eight years coming up, yeah. When it drops on PS5. Yeah. It's crazy. Nobody cares anymore. My my big surprise, uh, one of my big surprises, Spider Man Miles Morales was shown off. Um, At first, I thought that was like the Marvel game, uh, I came the so Avengers hard. game. Yeah, the Avengers game, and I'm like, it's Miles. Ah, oh, the DLC. Oh, I mean, DLC. Ah, oh, just the next game and everything. And fuck, dude, I. This is where it was going, and I'm glad. I'm super happy for that. This has been a while coming. I mean, if y'all played this game, you already knew this was already going to happen. Yeah. And, like, the the news around it got a little confusing on to whether or not this was going to be uh, part of... is going to be, like, an expansion for the first game. Because they said they're bringing Spider-Man Definitive to PS5. And then uh, one of the... Uh, was it Sony or Insomniac reps? Uh, threw confusion saying it was a standalone DLC thing. Insomniac said that. And uh, then, then Insomniac came out. It's like, no, this is a standalone game. I'm sure he's gonna go through his like story. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like his enemies that he's gonna face and stuff like that. And then when we do get to Spider-Man Two, um, and if they do implement Miles in that game, we're gonna get a big fucking game. I'm just waiting. I'm just gonna wait for more details on it and just see what's going on. One of my things is I wonder what we're going to do for costume-wise if Miles is going to be rocking some of dude, his costumes. Dude, that's what I'm, that's, that is what I'm waiting for, man. It's going to be so fucking sick, dude. Yeah, I, I know we're going to get the Spider-Verse costume. Uh, I I don't know any other spider suits that Miles really wears. Oh, the, the, there will be some. I think they're probably just... I don't know, dude. They might just choose ra- random ones from like the comics. If they do. Yeah, they might have to just stick with some Peter Parker ones. Yeah. So the next game to show off was Gran Turismo Seven card Oof, game. Looks yes. nice. That's Gran cool. Turismo, Dude, I yeah. have a, I, I have a card too, man. It's outside, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I love Raisin Sims, and Gran Turismo is probably one of my favorite favorite uh, car sims. Even even bigger than Forza. 
Yo, but like that's going to be that's an instant cop. I can't wait to fucking play that one. I mean, you know what? Like, okay, I like the Gran Turismo games. They look super pretty. I like that about those games. I honestly want another Burnout game, dude. We need another Burnout game. For every racer that comes out, another Burnout game. You know what? But we're going to get back to that conversation real soon if we're going to go to the order of the games. Uh, Next game here, a new Ratchet & Clank game. Oh, yeah. From Insomniac. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. This one also looks really good. It looks so good. This was one of the few games where they kind of showed off the new load times for the PS5 here. Uh, as you're going through the portals, entering new worlds. Uh, I mean, it, there's still a load time, and it's not as fast as they said Spider-Man was, you know, uh, earlier this year. And I thought this was going to be a sequel to the to the reboot series, but it's uh, it's going off of the old uh, series for Ratchet and Clank. Wow, that I didn't know. That part I didn't know. Yeah, and you know, it, I was surprised about that because this looks like the movie game, you know, so. I thought it was a sequel to the movie game. It looks really good. Over the top. I love that shit, dude. I love over the top shit all the time in my video games. And just the fact that you could go through portals is... What I said is, like, you bring the reality to you and you're at this spot. You know what I mean? Um, The guns look fun. Yeah, solid as always. Uh, And, man, I don't know about you guys, but going through the... The the trailer showing off all the dimensions and I'm like, dude, are we gonna see Jack and Daxter? Yo, Danny, you, thought that, if, you if, thought that too. Danny, you thought that too. Oh, dude, yeah, man. Can I, you, if if that happens, honestly, I will bridge my pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Danny, because like one point I'm like, dude, is that Haven City? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh my god, shit. Yeah, but but instead we got a new female character. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that at some point in the story you're gonna be playing as her maybe uh, during the yes! uh, parts. Yeah. Yes. The second she popped up, that new character in Ratchet and Clank, bam, rule thirty four. Bam. <laughs> dude. Oh, dude. I, that's the first thing I thought of when I saw her. I'm like, oh boy, Twitter's gonna have a good day. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm glad to see a new Ratchet and Clank games coming because we only got the one last gen, which was. Uh, a little sad because look how many came out on PS3, you know. Uh, and also, again, it's a surprise that Insomniac's dropping two games right off the bat here. Yeah, so the new game, uh, the next game they showed off is a new project from Square Enix and Luminous, uh, Project Athia. And I was, I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, is this a different game than what Square Enix is already working on? Yeah, so you could play, you play as a female protagonist going into this mythical world. And uh, I'm assuming we're we're nowhere near a release date for this game. Because at the end we got that dragon, and I'm like, look at this CG that's not in the game. You know, right you know what? Uh, what it reminded me of uh, the Unreal Reveal Engine. Yeah, it had a lot of that feel to it. I mean, it looks good. Honestly, it just looks good. But I don't know. Some somehow it reminds me of Scalebound. So yeah, it looks cool. We'll probably see it again in like another two years. Uh, the next game they showed off was pretty cool uh, from Annapurna Interactive, uh, a game called Stray. Uh, the humans have died off. Robots are now society. And we get to see a cat walk around as a, a courier, I guess, right? They all got little backpacks on there. It's probably like like the cats became their own society as well. Concept looks pretty cool. The robot designs are very, I guess you could say, old school type of feel, right? It's not like the modern robots, which is uh, interesting to see. And um, more than likely, you're going to play as the cat, which will be cool. Hell yeah. I love games where I can play as cats. Yeah. And then the next game they showed off I thought was uh, interesting from Sony here, Returnal. The first thing I thought, no, well, one of the last things I thought of when I saw that, the last thing I thought of when I saw that was, was Metroid. Like the more mm. weird, weird yeah, Metroid. Yeah, that's I what like I thought too. Color beams that she was shooting. But that was pretty cool. All, all I said is like, that's just Space Silent Hill, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it, but it feels like the Souls game. Yeah, it, it looks like it has the Souls feels. Yeah, with guns. for real. I want to see like what kind of guns we're gonna get, how varying the gameplay is gonna be with them, and I just want to see more of these uh, and alien designs because some of these are looking pretty solid. Uh, from Sumo Digital, Sackboy: A Big Adventure, which was a it was a nice surprise. I thought it was Little Big Planet Four, but I think it's just gonna be a, a Sackboy game. It's a side. It's a platformer. It looks, like it looks of, fun. 
because because Little Big Planet, well, all of the games have been good. I I think there's only like one spinoff of Sackboy Adventures, and it was fun as well. Yeah, it seems fun. Uh, obviously, we're gonna get some multiplayer as we saw the other characters hop in here. Yeah, so that's cool, man. I always like the Little Big Planet games; they're fun. And then the next one they showed off, it looks like a spin-off game from uh, Rocket League, but uh, Destruction All-Stars. Oh, that game. Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. I- I'm sure you were, like, <laughs> devastated. Yeah, I'm sure I you were, like... Rage, man, when I saw that. I'm sure you were... I-, I thought of you, Danny, when I saw the name. I'm like, oh, man, Danny's going to be <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, I was watching uh, Pat stream uh, the PS5 event, and he said... All, like why is why do you gonna pick a title that's so similar to PlayStation All Stars? Yeah. Like yeah, man. Where's Where's All Stars Two? Come on. That game looks so fun. Yeah. So it's like it's it's just it's like a racing game, right? You're in a in a giant arena, and then you're just doing Rocket League stuff. Uh, and it looks like you can get out of the car yeah. at one point and and do some melee stuff. So that's interesting. Oh, uh, it's like a mix of Rocket League, Twisted Metal, and like mm-hmm. yeah, fucking yeah. uh Fortnite looking game, fucking. Yeah, actually, yeah. I was I was gonna say Twisted Metal. It reminded me a lot of Twisted Metal. I'm sure they'll throw a I'm sure they'll throw a Sweet Tooth, um, character in there at one point. I'm sure they will. Right. Yeah, I'm sure they will. No yeah. All Stars too. I know that's I was disappointed, man. Me too, honestly. There was the the fucking the the character roster was set up this fucking thing too. I know all these new games, all these new characters coming in that Sony's got, and they're not they just don't want to do it, man. So this one's also a PlayStation exclusive. I didn't know that. I didn't know that one. Uh, so that, yeah, I'm sure they'll have some twisted metal stuff in here. And the next one looked looked pretty nice. Kana, Bridge of the Spirits. You you mean tech, but a female? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. That's what the game was. Yeah. Dude, the name reminds me of a ca- cameo. That's what the name reminded me. But the game looks so nice. Uh, looks like a fucking Disney movie. Uh, so yeah. that's, that's a plus. Kingdom Hearts uh, looking ass. I don't know if we got a confirmation on this, but Adam uh, uh, mentioned it. Uh, he saw on Twitter somebody said like, "Oh, the the person that did the uh, that three D Majora's Mask movie is working on this game." Yeah, game looks pretty cool. the The combat's uh, the combat's good. I thought the game looks uh, pretty solid. I might pick it up if I were to get a PlayStation. But that's a thumbs up for me right there. I mentioned this in the chat, and I was like, this game coming up is not a game for gamers. And that was a Goodbye Volcano High. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Uh, let's just move on. It's it's some, it's some Tumblr shit, dude. It's just Tumblr shit. So yeah, let's move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but oh, you, you want to... Okay, you want to know what the worst part... You want to know what the worst part about this shit, Danny? It's fucking dinosaurs. And I fucking love dinosaurs, okay? <laughs> But yeah, let's move right. on. Next, we got Oddworld uh, Soulstorm. Hell yeah. Is this a new one or is this a remake? I think it's a new one. It's a new one, per se. Is it? Oh, okay. I, I thought I heard it was a, uh, a, a remake. remake. Yeah, it looks, it looks, looks, looks great. great. Yeah. Side scroller, like it's supposed to be, like the original ones. Mm-hmm. Um, I just love it. You know, it's. I've only played. Munch's Odyssey <laughs> back on oh, Xbox, okay. original Xbox. But I love that game. That game was fun. And I don't know, just some nostalgia hit me when I watched that trailer and I'm like, oh, this is good. I'm so glad that this series would, has not been forgotten, you know? I would like to say that to point out that dude said dangerous what is it, devastatingly hilarious when I did not see anything hilarious about the fucking trailer, dude. <laughs> that shit was a massacre, man. Dude, it got dark when he couldn't get his hands off the Ex- console. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I never played one of those games, but from just by looking at that, that it looks like a looks like a time, man. Yeah, Abe, Abe's Abe's a cool character. Yeah, and that's gonna be limited exclusive, uh, probably for like a year, as usual. And then next, we got the new Bethesda game. They finally showed off some gameplay for Ghostwire Tokyo. Oh yeah, that was. You know, I almost forgot about that game. Um, but then, ah, this, the, the gameplay looks so fucking cool. Yeah, you know, it, it threw me off. I wasn't expecting first person, uh, shooter mechanics going on here. Yeah, I think it's cool. You get to use, like, looks like magic and all that. Um, and I like how it's, you know, cause you're fighting ghosts and all that. And then you get, you see your character doing like incantations with his hands. That's cool. Yeah. Like Naruto, bro. 
yeah, the gameplay threw me off, but you know, I'm still kind of hyped to check out what's going on here. And uh, this is dropping next year. Uh, the next game we got was Jet the Far Shore, some kind of space game. Dude, I thought the yeah. game was like Journey or something. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like it, right? You're going to different planets. Uh, your camera is pulled way back as yeah. you explore these vast planets. planets. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just like a ex- uh, comfy explorer. Something nice to look at, yeah, yeah. And you could do all these things. It's pretty cool though. I like the, I like the environments that I couldn't tell if like you were still on the ship or you were on a boat or something. But like, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. So this is also coming to PS4, and and on PS5. And then we we got some gameplay for Godfall coming in the. The I think the, the PS5 launch title here. I w- I was seeing some gameplay from Godfall, and and one of the developers said this game's a looter slasher. Yeah, a looter slasher. Yeah. Yeah, and I like looter games. I like looter games, so I I'm I'm looking forward to this one. I mean, I still love the designs for the armor. Oh yeah, the so designs good. are so cool. You know, this game reminds me of Dark Siders. I don't know. I just like make that uh, comparison okay. a lot. I don't know why I make that comparison a lot, but... That's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to hop on this. You know, it's like if Warframe decided to go more melee heavy and, like, like focus more on the melee combat, this is what it feels like. The next game was a cool 3D trip from uh, the developers for Hyper Life Drifter, uh, Solar Ash. Oh, yeah, that game looks cool. Very indie, but I like it, though. I like the way... I like how she's... Mm-hmm. Ro- I like how she's rollerblading. Yeah, uh, design solid. And I like the shot. I'm like, oh, okay, so we're right on top of a black hole here. This is interesting. And uh, I haven't played Hyper Life Drifter, but I've seen some stuff with it. And I, yeah, I like I like what's going on in there. So this this has my interest. It's those indie games, man. Like the good indie games. And I always like. Mm-hmm. It's not that I miss. Well, yeah, I yeah I'm missing out on them, but I forget that they're there sometimes. And I just like, oh man. The next uh, surprise here was uh, Hitman Three. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hitman Three. I love the Hitman games. I love how uh, this new interaction of Hitman gave it the going back to their origins a lot. And Hitman One, oof, great game. And the second one, they actually made it better. So I'm looking mm-hmm. really forward to what comes out for Hitman Three. I hope we get more of a of those um, side stories of the agency and all. And uh, to my surprise, January 2021. So that's coming yeah. real soon. Pr- pretty sure they're going to use the same engine that they're using for the for the last two games. They're just m- m- um, changing something here and there. Because when Hitman 2 came out, it-, it was the same engine, but it was worked up again. So you can actually play uh, the missions from the first one on the second one. That's that's as worse I know why I haven't played it. I those games look so fun. Uh they showed off the Astros playroom, you know, the the VR mascot and all that from Japan Studio. You know those games I, I when I uh tried VR on PlayStation and I played those games. Those games were fun. Those games are really fun, mm. like little mini games, yeah. So when I saw that I'm like, oh that's cool. Yeah, it's very nice that we're getting more of this uh, these ma- this mascot, as you say. Uh, this next game, I like it. I like it a lot. Over here from Neo Stream, uh, Little Devil Inside. This has that very unique art style going on with it. You know what it felt like? Hmm. Remember Costume Quest? Costume. I've heard of that I game. So. I've heard of that game. It's it's one of those double fine games. The art style, may, I don't know. I know what you're talking uh, about oh, now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very you know, similar. You know what I thought of, Danny? Uh, it's the mm-hmm. one where he's killing all the monsters, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's that one. You know what I thought, dude? I'm like, this is berserk, dude. <laughs> yeah, straight up. That's what I was thinking, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one word. One word. That's that's fucking guts. That's right there. You can't tell me. No, it's not. <laughs> Shmi, yep. Sure. I don't know, but, but Little Dibble Inside looks really good. Really, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm... Yeah, you know, I was like, I'm like, oh, this art style is pretty out there, isn't it? But as, as we got more into this trailer, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm digging it. Uh, I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And it's got the 
the looter, uh, looter. I mean, the slasher with with the gun. I, I mean, like in Bloodborne, that you have a gun and a knife, and and you're gonna find all these monsters. Yeah, some of the boss. I like some of the boss designs here. Uh, we have like that giant Cheshire looking cat, and then we have like these, like that chicken looking dragon. I uh, yeah, that that was cool. Yeah, the, everything about the game looks pretty sweet. I wonder what it's going to be about. I wonder what the story is about. Because it makes it seem like, oh yeah, go hunt these monsters for me. It, it almost feels like this game's not going to have any dialogue. I hope so. Because just, just l- looking at it, it, it looks like we're just going to have like subtle sound effects for certain interactions with characters. And then like everything's just going to be visual based. Uh, this is, this is going to be PS4 and PS5. So that's cool. And then we got the 2K21 for NBA. Yeah, it's another basketball game. 2K, baby! Yeah, yeah I'm like, uh, another pachinko basketball game. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good way of putting it. Uh, and then we got Bug Snacks, which is that weird game. The only reason why people are going to buy that is because of the new Caro Caro Bonito song accompanying Fuck it. yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, that, that game was... Tr- I think it was a fucking it's trip, trippy. dude. I'm like, whoa, man, they're <laughs> eating the food. They're becoming the food. And the food is going to eat you. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that, that, that's a body horror right there. Yeah, that, that was a weird, weird-ass game. Coming out uh, holiday season this year. So it's probably a launch title as well. And then next, probably the biggest game out of this entire stream man blue point coming in again killing it huge surprise i think this is the biggest surprise right demon souls is back yeah yeah i've never never played the original one always wanted to though yeah and you know blue point's been on a good streak recently so um glad to see it take it up but i was honestly i'm really surprised that we're seeing it because the last time they brought up the question of, are you guys, for, to From Software, are you guys going to remake Demon Souls? And, you know, the director was saying, like, I, I don't think I want to go back and touch it. That game's, like, very close to home. And I don't want to, you know, accidentally ruin it by trying to bring it back. And and that was, like, I think a year or two ago uh, when that interview dropped. So, yeah, real real surprised to see them bring it here and to have Bluepoint do it, too. So I had the original... But I'm glad they're doing this that way, because that game, I played it, but, you know, that was, like, my first taste of fucking, like, the Souls genre, you know? I think as with everybody. Yeah, that game deserves a remake. I think it's... Yeah, th- th- this is high, this was a highly requested game for a long time. And I and I went back to look at some of uh, what those uh, bosses looked like before, and I was like, man, this is a great, great upgrade. And again, like I said, Blue Point, you know, that's that's a great that's a great studio. So the next game next game we got from Arcane Studios, we finally got some gameplay for Deathloop that they showed off last year at E3. Yeah, when I when I saw it on E3, I wasn't big on it, but this gameplay trailer made me uh, really looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Mo- mostly because I know Arcane Games makes good games, but I mean, the, the whole idea of a loop was like, oh, come on, another one of those. But no, this one looks good. It feels like it feels like I'm playing a really fast game of Dishonor with guns. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Prey? No, because Prey was different. Wasn't Prey... Was Prey arcane, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Figured. Um, but yeah, this game looks cool. Uh, I played Dishonored myself. Uh, I gotta replay. I gotta finish that game because uh, I it was interesting. That was an interesting game. And then, of course, at the end of the trailer, we see that the other assassin is there too, stopping uh, the I guess the main character right from trying to escape the death loop. So next game from Capcom, man, all the leaks were true. Resident Evil Village, aka Resident Fuck. Evil Eight. Yes. Yes. There's a lot Chris to, Redfield, there's a lot to Chris talk Redfield about. Chris Redfield looking like a fucking doomer. Yeah, Chris is back with yet another new design to his character. It it looks like the design of the of the of um Resident Evil games. games. Yeah, like, like Resident Evil like 5, 6 and Vendetta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cuz but 
but now he's he's thick. Right now he's on the burst. He's looking more like six, though. I'll tell you right now. It's just, it's so crazy. He looks so different from where we last saw him in seven. Yeah, seven. I uh, I didn't really like how he looked. <laughs> I didn't like how he looked right. in seven. To be honest with you, I'm like, wait, this is Chris. Uh, I would have not have guessed that if it didn't. If he didn't say it, uh, Redfield. I would have never guessed that it was Chris, you know. But uh, yeah, this trailer. At first, I honestly, I did not know it was Resident Evil Eight until the umbrella logo showed up in that trailer. I did not. Mm. I like. I had no idea. I'm like, oh, is this a new game? I, you know, I don't know. But then, yeah, that comes up, and then we get Village, and yeah, uh, there's a lot to talk about. I love the scenery. Again, man, Danny, we're back at that Van Helsing shit, dude. Come on, man. Hell yeah, dude. Hell we got yeah. witches. We got werewolves, dude. This shit's looking like Outlast two. Yeah. I mean, if it's gonna, if it's gonna play like the like the first one, um, I mean, I mean, from, I mean, Resident Evil Seven. And if seven. it's gonna play like that, I'm I'm so down for it. But I I saw the I saw some of the gameplay that they they showed. We got an inventory system. That means that probably we're gonna have Resident Evil Four back in a way. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised because with RE Four uh, remake coming out. Because even then, uh, some some of the in, info that they came out from Ethan is that he he got they changed the character to a more cockier version of him. Mm-hmm. They're saying. They're saying that he's going to act like Ash Williams. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm so down for that personality. I love I'm that personality. I'm so down. Yeah. So if we're going to get a Resident Evil 8 and we're going to get like Ethan Williams in a kind of way. <laughs> Ethan <saying> Williams. It, <laughs> and the villain one. is fucking Chris. It's like, wow. I think, okay, my theory on that, man, one or two things is going to happen. Or some other third thing that is probably going to happen. Uh, either Chris has lost it. Like he's he's gone off the edge. Like it was, like it was almost supposed to be in Resident Evil Six. Either that happened, or that he knew um, Mia was gonna betray uh, Ethan or something, and that's why he killed her. Mm. One of the two. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know how the whole village aspect has to do with it. My guess is that it's another. It's part of the oh, family. Nice. It's another. It's gonna be something like that. The area you're gonna be at is either going to be another cult like in resident evil 4 og resident evil 4 see the remake hasn't even came out and i have to start saying that (laughs) um and i think it's another part of the spencer family or something it has to do with the origins of the the creators of the the viruses and whatnot so i'm pretty sure there's gonna be some bioterrorism uh involvement still around um it's just crazy how it's gonna be like werewolves and vampires and stuff more gothic more gothic uh aesthetics to it yeah that's that's interesting they're going that route uh, but i'm all for it ah uh, me too i am so for it i love resident evil every every single game i love them all next game looks great post post apocalyptic walking in new york looking like ludens over here uh pragmata that one feels off uh, that one had an interesting concept for me no lie, the guy reminded me of like Isaac from Dead Space, like the suit and stuff. Oh yeah, okay. that's what oh, it reminded yeah. me of. Hey, did we find out what game the writer was talking about? Uh, I think it was this one that they showed. Or... Is it this one? One of the Dead Space writers said uh, his his new game was going to be shown off at the stream. I don't remember which. Yeah, very sci-fi stuff. Reminds me a lot of the the mangaka that does like Bio Mega. Like this is sort of his his wheelhouse. Looks like we got some sort of maybe gameplay where you try to stop the satellite from crashing. Possibly, and maybe some gameplay elements to it. And then, and then we land on the moon. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm like, what the hell's gonna happen? Yeah, I feel, I feel like the the girl's like some kind of android or like an AI or something. She holds the key to restart humanity. Something like that. Something like that. Watch, but if the gameplay's fun. That's all that matters. But uh, yeah, the game looks cool. Dead Space. I don't know. I got hella Dead Space vibes from it. Especially when he goes yeah. to space, you know? 
But yeah, Pragmata, that looks, that looks cool. 2022, that's coming out. So it's going to be a while. And then next, of course, everybody knew this was going to be coming. Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. It's a Horizon Forbidden for or Forbidden West. I'm not big into Horizon, honestly. So, uh, yeah, I started it, but I I have yet to go back to finish it. Yeah, same here, Danny. I started, it, didn't finish it, but um, as open world games go, I like the formula. You know, I I love open world games. The it's you know as long as like it keeps me busy in those game in those open worlds, which Horizon does do. Um, that's all that matters to me. And for it to be getting a sequel now, you know, it's kind of like jumping on the bandwagon here, but like, I want to go back and play it now, you know? Yeah, this, this continues on to Aloy's story. Uh, she's traveling to go do something. I, I forget what they... The West. To stop like a new threat or something, seems like it. Yeah, Forbidden West. Um, we're, we gotta see a bunch of new factions here of, of just, I guess, like clans. Or whatever they got some interesting designs. Uh, I, I like that the end the giant uh, there was like that robot turtle that looked pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Like they could be any animal now. I'm like that's great. And then there's like this virtual dragon she finds off of this Japanese uh, writing on this piece of wood. Oh yeah, that shit was that's cool, dude. Right. I'm like, what's happening, bro? Dude, like it's gonna go deep, man. Like I it, like. It was, like I remember playing it to begin with, and I'm like, "Wow, this is going really deep." Like into like, how far is this into the future after the fall of a technological humanity? Uh, I'm excited. And then after that, they, that's where that's where they showed off the PS5 and all the details for that. And that was the Sony stream from last week, man. And I gonna lie, a lot more games than I thought we were gonna see. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was an okay stream. It was great to see something. Something. Yeah, yeah finally, fine. after all this silence. All the silence, all the hype, I guess, quote. I don't Well, hype, yeah. I'm always optimistic about the future of gaming because gaming is fun. Gaming is so fun. It's always a good time. On to some other news that we did get going on here. I know Adam's not here, but, you know, we still got to talk about it, man. More Kingdom Hearts news. Yeah. Out there. Uh, they revealed there's going to be four new characters showing up in Kingdom Hearts Dark Roads. It's gonna They're going to feature uh, Erd, Bragi, Vor, and then Hermod. I don't know those names. Um, I'm sure you guys do. Just, did you just say Vor? Vor, yeah. Well. <laughs> and then next over here, Ninja Theory revealed that Hellblade 2 is going to be running on Unreal 5. Nice. Peace. Oh, that's right. They're making a second one. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's dude, gonna the, be. That's gonna be nice. Dude, the first one was really good. You have to play that game with you headphones. Have to play with headphones. Yeah. 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 That's that's a game I'm gonna be playing soon. If you if you're really into Norse mythology, that and Celtic yeah, the mythology, the combat was too. crazy. Oh, oh yeah. Like fuck, um, dude. It, what what was trippy about it is like, f- look how huge these fucking enemies are. You know. <laughs> I would I would recommend it. Even if you if you like Norse mythology, you'll really enjoy it too. You're gonna have to let me know how Hellblade Two is, Grant. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I can't play that. So you can't. It's an Xbox exclusive. Oh shit, that's right. Hey man, to a nice surprise here, dude. Brawlhalla, you know the Smash the Smash Light game over there. They added my boy Ben Ten to the roster. Real oh. shit, Danny. Yo, please tell me he turns yeah. into, like, the other aliens. Yeah, so you could play as, I think, uh, they're separate characters. I, 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 haven't, I haven't played the game, because you, you have to actually buy the character. Uh, but yeah, from, from the gameplay stuff, you can pl- uh, play as Heat Blast, uh, Diamond Head, and Four Arms. So that's cool. Wow, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's that yeah. Ben 10. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, the, it's the new Ben 10, which... Uh, the art, the art style, I'm not a fan of, uh, but I've heard there's good things in the in the reboot. So, I finally beat Neo two the other day. Nice. How was that? Uh, as I mentioned on the show before, it's like it was pretty easy for like the first third of the game, and then we got this sharp spike in difficulty that didn't really make it fun. Some of the boss fights, like their designs are great, but their uh, 
their attacks and stuff just it wasn't challenging at all and then when we got to this last third of the game man it gets super anime and like the boss fights get fun and they get ridiculous too like the final boss like you fight them you fight them twice in two different missions and they're both crazy like they're, they're really fun like the first time you fight him he's pulling out these shadow clone jutsu bullshit from naruto and there's just you know attacks coming all over the place and then the uh the, the ending of the game is it's it's an interesting thing uh, i'm not gonna get to spoiler stuff because i know you're still playing it right julian yeah i'll, I'll we'll hop yeah, on to that soon. um i'll just say this man uh this game because this game uh it, it spans over a lot of years like about i think 60 years like 40 60 years but before oh no or oh no, actually well it's yeah yeah and so at the end of the game uh we get stuff that relates to the first neo just the way things are resolved i wasn't too happy with because it's it's like the, at the end of Neo One, like with all the DLC and everything, it, you were like, "Oh, I can't wait to see what William's going to be doing," you know, as as he's still going against the Spaniards and all that. And then coming here at the end of Neo Two, it's kind of just resolved in a cutscene, like with what happens. Uh, and I just I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of it at the end of the day. Uh, but there there's still cool stuff to see towards the end. I, I still think the game's worth playing. And uh, I'm almost I'm almost with the plat. I'm just waiting for one mission to cycle through, so I could finish finish it up. But you know, the one thing I kept thinking after I beat the game was, I don't know what they're gonna do for the DLC stories. Like, where are we gonna go moving forward? Because a lot of stuff got resolved in this game. I don't see where your character specifically can do moving forward. Because uh, your main character is is it's a weird situation that they decided to do. Uh, because of custom characterization, uh, I'm still gonna, I'm still hyped and ready to play the DLC that drops next month. But uh, yeah, I just can't see what the story is gonna be doing. You should keep playing that game, Julian. It's a good one, and you don't have to worry about spoilers for the DLC, Julian. Uh, for the most part, uh, I, I think I told you already before. Yeah, there's, there's like one of those cutscenes for the spirits when you acquire them, and it kind of just does a broad stroke over the story of all of Neo One, including the DLC. Um, but if you beat the DLC there in one of the cutscenes before you fight one of these bosses, you'll notice something like, oh, I know where that's coming in later in the game. Uh, I've been playing Yakuza a lot lately, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, you've been playing Zero, Zero right? Yeah, it's, it's, that game already has the 10 stars out of 5 for me, 100s out of 10 for me, it, <laughs> and I'm not even done with the game yet. I, I think I'm, I think I'm like at least 40... 40% done. Dan, you keep on telling me that game series is like Gintama, the video game. It honestly is, yeah. It's 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 like the Japanese, wackier Saints Row, basically. Oh, okay. That's a better way of saying oh, it. I like that. Grant, you should play it. It's on a Game Pass. Yeah, I know. I've just, I've had, a, I have a lot of games I need to play. Oh, trust I, me. I'm, I'm, as I think you've seen me play, but I'm, I'm replaying the Ezio collection Hell yeah. for what, Assassin's where, Creed. Where are you at right now, too? I'm on Brotherhood. I got every achievement for two. I a hundred. I got a hundred percent sync. Brotherhood's going to be a bit harder. Then I have to play Revelations. I just want to pl- replay all of the Assassin's Creeds before uh, Valhalla comes out. I cannot wait for Valhalla. Oh man. Oh, you know what? I finished last night, Danny. I finished the Hellboy movie. Oh yeah, you were talking the the reboot with David Harbour. Yeah, right? it, no. <laughs> it, 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 it's like i'm confused i like i'm not a hellboy fan but like if i were to read the comics i'm pretty sure i would like it uh but it, it felt like hellboy was still pretty new to like being hellboy and like uh the cg sucked the story kind of sucked and i'm like what like, like oh he has a cool ass design at the end there, there was like some cool things to it. Some cool things, but yeah, uh, 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 if you could find it yeah. somewhere, <laughs> if you could find it somewhere free to watch, dude, like a streaming service, I would watch it. Then I wouldn't. I would not buy this movie to be honest with you, or watch it again. 
Yeah, those trailers just didn't didn't do it for me. Jerry. What's up? I don't know if you read it, man. <laughs> the final chapter came out for Promise Neverland. That shit was big ass, bro. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck, man. Dude? Big smelly uh, ass. Yeah. If you're down, do an episode on it, man. Promise I'm down. Land. I'm down. I just need to get drunk, dude. Cause fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's yeah, right it, indeed, bro. Promise Neverland is one of those series that was very unique. It was really good. Ca- it caught Great you potential. so quick on the first chapter. You know, it was really solid on the first half, but somewhere along the way, big stinky just... butthole. Yeah, yeah. So that's unfortunate. But with that, we got some news. Uh, there was gonna, there's gonna be like a fan book collection or something for it over in Japan. Over on Amazon, we're getting a live action TV series for Promise Neverland. Okay. It's gonna be out here in the West for the adaptation, so maybe it'll be good. Uh, but they should, they should stop before they get to the bad parts for sure. Honestly, you know where they, they, they should just end it, Jerry? Is that a golden pond arc? Goldie pond? Yeah. 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 Just end it right there. Oh, That's yeah. all we need. Cause after that, just, uh, other anime news here. Big surprise. I wonder if it's because of the anniv- the anniversary is coming up, but Shaman King is getting a new anime. I heard about in that. April, 2021. Yeah, crazy man. Uh, I read Shaman King long time ago. You know, it's the it's a good shonen. I like it a lot. You know, it's basically like stands. That's what's going on here. Yeah, and then the ending it, it gets a little little crazy, and it's kind of a lot of people are kind of up in the air on how they feel for it. Uh, I I thought it was it was fine. It's it is what it is for the ending. Yeah, big surprise to see it come back for an anime, and then over here on the you know Yasha sequel, right? Yasha Hime. Uh, over on Twitter, the voice actors for you know Yasha Kagome have mentioned that they're going to be coming back, reprising their roles. So uh, they're not dead. They're not dead in the sequel. So that's cool. And that got me hyped because I'm like, oh, cool. When hopefully this drops in English, and then we can get their uh, English voice actors back. That'd be nice. Because I think it's the I think the dub's pretty solid for you know Yasha. Uh, new Marvel talk just dropped recently. Uh, good stuff in there. DC heavy episode. Talk a lot over there, mainly about the Snyder Cut and uh, all the Batman news that's been coming out. And then uh, next week, of course, a new BFM is coming out. Good episode. So look forward yes, to sir. all that. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. And then I think with that, I think it's safe to say we could go ahead and wrap up this episode. Thanks for listening, guys. Remember, you can always follow us at Unverse Podcast anywhere you go. I'll let you know when the latest episodes drop. And then you can always, uh, and again, you can send an email, unversepodcast at gmail.com. Any questions, comments, love to talk about it. Yeah, so thanks guys for listening, and we'll catch you on the next episode. I've been feeling pretty okay with waiting. You seem pretty okay with complaining. That's cool, I just said to say That's cool, I just said the same turn. Did everything change? Learn, remember the days hurt. Tip of the pace, hurt, tip of the pace, hurt, tip of the pace. Work, having to pay double. I'm sure it's just happy to stay humble. Current fact that I made crumble. Don't serve me after the day. Hurt me after the day. Cure me after the day. Can't defend you unless you retain fear. After the day, she need a better plan. Get you caught up in the mist. See it bigger. Need a pan. It's been hot up in the kitchen. Got your feet in the hand. Let you pop into a bitch. Undefeated in the band. If you drop it in the bitch, uh, fuck around with it. Uh. I've been working down in it. Uh. I've been searching for it. Uh.